book related videos every single Wednesday and today's video is very exciting because it's basically a giant, well giant for me, this might not be giant compared to some other booktubers, but a big collective book haul. I have one book of the month unboxing and then all the others are ones that I got for Christmas or ones that I went on and purchased or ones that I mentioned I was really interested in in some previous TBR videos and then I was kindly sent them for review. You guys know even if I review them I'll be 100% honest, but I am so excited for all of these. So first we'll do the, oh, it's always so heavy. We're gonna do the book of the month unboxing. Got my knife. What even kind of knife is this? I don't even know. But obviously don't use something like this if you're opening a box. So the first book they always put in one of these little boxes. So getting the knife again. Ooh, so very exciting. This is actually a book, if you guys remember, I talked about in my 2018 TBR video, and this is The Woman in the Window by AJ Finn. This is about a woman who lives in New York City and she witnesses something horrible from her window looking into someone else's, I assume a murder, but maybe not. So, so very reminiscent of Rear Window. And I do wanna try and read this while I'm still living just outside New York City because I think that'll add to the atmosphere. But that's a nice surprise because that's one I was just talking about that I wanted to read. The next book is Red Clocks by Lenny Zumas. This one sounds interesting based off the first sentence. So in this ferociously imaginative novel, abortion is once again Right as I said, abortion is once again illegal. A police car siren run off. I don't know if you guys can hear that. And it says, small Oregon fishing town of five very different women navigate these new barriers alongside age old questions surrounding motherhood, identity, and freedom. So super fascinating. Although I've seen this book cover floating around, I haven't heard anything about it. So please let me know if you've read this and what you think about it. The next book is The Music Shop by Rachel Joyce. And it says, this is about a man named Frank who owns a music shop and one day a beautiful young woman comes into his shop and asks him to teach her about music. And, and I have to admit, based off the little summary, this one probably won't be one of the top ones I check out next. And I think you guys know this, but if I'm ever sent a book I'm not 100% interested in, I will always donate it. I'm not just gonna like hoard a book I'm never gonna read and keep. But if any of you have read this, definitely let me know. And I always say this when I talk about book of the month, but it's one of the only book subscription services that I support aside from Nocturnal Reader Box, which is also wonderful, just because it is such a good deal and you actually get to have a say in what you're being sent. Whereas a lot of other subscription boxes, I just think can end up being a waste of money. But for this, there are five books every month. You get to choose which one you want. And if you use my link down below, you can get your first one of these for just $5. And they're always really nice, big hardbacks. Full disclosure, as always, it is an affiliate link. So you don't have to use it if you don't want to, but it's there if you want one for $5. And the next book is As Bright as Heaven by Susan Meisner. And, and just glancing at what this is about, it sounds very depressing but very interesting and it takes place in 1918 in Philadelphia and it says that the Spanish flu reaches North America and the pandemic claims more than 12,000 victims in their adopted city. I will admit, maybe I'm just very ignorant on this, well obviously I am, I don't know anything about the Spanish flu but it says that this talks about their parents and their children and them dealing with it. So I get the impression this is gonna definitely pull on the heartstrings, but I'm very intrigued. And, and the last book in the box is Two Girls Down by Louise Luna. Based off the cover, I'm gonna guess it's a thriller because thrillers love to put branches on the cover, but we'll see if I'm wrong. I'm right. <laughs> so at, at least I think based off the first few sentences, but it says a mother's worst nightmare occurs when Jamie's two young daughters, Kylie and Bailey, disappear without a trace from a strip mall parking lot in their home in Pennsylvania. The devastated family hires Alice Vega, a former bounty hunter whose intellect is matched only by her relentless determination to get results. And I will say I've read a couple books recently that are about parents, children, going missing. I'm looking at you, the couple next door, that were not good. So I'll probably do a little research into this to see if I think I'll like it. But I have heard really good things about Louisa Luna before, so this should be promising. Oh, okay, so now we're gonna get into the books that I purchased or I was kindly gifted. And the 
First one I picked up at Second and Charles, and you guys will recognize this from my last video, but I've just been collecting these books over time, and that is Into Thin Air by John Krakauer. I picked this up from my favorite bookstore of all time, Second and Charles. You should definitely look to see if you have a Second and Charles in your area, but basically it's a giant new and used bookstore, so I got this for $4, and I just posted a spoiler-free review if you're interested to see what I think about this. And the next two books I want to talk about, I don't actually have physically to show you even though I ordered physical copies off Amazon you know you can have like all your previous addresses in there I forgot to check and I put my address from high school luckily that's where my parents live so I'll get the books this weekend but but I was waiting at my apartment for the books to come in and I was so excited and, the, and, and my mom sent me a picture of a couple books and she was like why did these just arrive at the house but anyway I will have them physically in a matter of a few days but the first book is The Roundhouse by Louise Erdrich. I saw Scribbles Read talk about this and I've been meaning to read more books about Native American life. I've been especially after watching the film Wind River. I highly recommend watching that. It's semi-based I believe on true events of something horrific that unfortunately happened to a Native American girl but I think it's a very important film to see. Very difficult to watch but I highly recommend it and it says the roundhouse is a brilliant chronicle of Native American life and tells the story of a boy on the cusp of manhood who seeks justice and understanding in the wake of a terrible crime that upends and forever transforms his family. So I think it'll be a difficult read but I've heard really good things about this and if you and if you know of any other books by Native American authors you'd recommend please let me know. The next book I ordered is one I talked about in my horror TBR and that is Goth by Atsuichi. This is a Japanese horror novel that sounds so up but I'm so excited and it's about two teenagers who are sociopaths who decide to hunt down a serial killer in their area not because they want to stop him but because they want to do something else which I assume is probably hunt with him I don't know so I get the feeling goth might definitely be my scariest read of 2018 and the next one I'm so excited about and I'm in the midst of reading it right now and that is The Winter People by Jennifer McMahon is it hard to see in here I need to turn down the brightness Okay, hopefully that's a little better. But I'm only about 60 pages into this so far, but I'm absolutely loving it. It is so eerie and disturbing. And The Winter People is about, first it starts off, I should say, and I think it was 1908, where there's a family living out in the country in Vermont, a husband, wife, and their young daughter. Something horrific happens, which I won't say. And then years later in present day, a 19-year-old girl who's living in that same farmhouse that they lived in comes across the woman's diary from 1908 and she starts to look into the mystery of the winter people. As I said I'm only 50-60 pages in right now so I don't technically know what the winter people right now. All I know is that it's incredibly creepy and I can't tell if it's like people come back to life or if they're ghosts or zombies. I can't really tell but it just seems so unique and refreshing and just incredibly eerie. One, The next one I talked about in a TBR and I am so excited to get because I know that so many of you guys read Bird Box by Joss Mallerman because I recommended it and I haven't heard of like one person who read the whole thing and didn't like it. But I was kindly sent his newest book and that is Unbearable. Carol by Josh Mallerman. This is about a woman who has a disorder where it seems like she dies every now and then and she goes into this, I don't know if it's really like a coma, but she basically just looks dead. And so in this book her husband, who basically just married her for her money, decides to craft a little plan so the next time she goes under one of these spells or whatever it is, he's going to have, he's going to essentially have her buried alive and then even though he knows she'll wake up once she's underground, just keep her there and have her look literally die down there so that he can have all of her money. So I think it's told from her point of view, from someone who's trying to save her point of view maybe, but it's just such but it's just such an interesting concept. And I'm super curious to see if they're actually able to unbury Carol. I have a bag here, but I don't actually remember what's inside. Ah, so exciting. And so before I say what this is, you guys might remember that what year was it, 2015? I'm not sure, but one of my favorite books of all time is The Enchanted by Renee Denfeld. The Enchanted is sort of a magical realism book that takes place on death row in an old prison. And Renee Denfeld, the author, actually has real experience with that because that was the setting that she used to work in. And this is her newest book, and that and that is The Child Finder. It has kind of this flap on front. And this is about a young girl who goes missing in Oregon when her family is chopping down a Christmas tree in the forest. And then the family eventually reaches out to Naomi, who's a private investigator, who has this kind of uncanny ability to 
find children, which you can guess based off the title. And it says Naomi's methodical search takes her deep into an icy, mysterious forest in the Pacific Northwest. And I just cannot wait to get into this because you guys know how much I love The Enchanted. Please, please go read The Enchanted if you have not yet. But her writing is so beautiful. Time, I've only read one book by her, so I just cannot even articulate to you how excited I am. And also, what did I say about thrillers and branches? And the last book is one I was gifted by my friend Sam. I hadn't heard of this before, but can I just say I love the cover. I love all of the Europa edition covers, but this is The Followers by Rebecca Waite. I had not heard of this before, but the second I glanced at the summary, I was like, I see why she bought this for me. But it says, Judith regularly visits her mother, who has been in prison for the past eight years. Neither can bring themselves to speak about the tragedy that brought them there. And I get the impression this might have something to do with a cult because it talks about Stephanie, the woman who's now in prison. It says that eight years earlier, believing she's doing what's best for her daughter, immerses herself in her new life, which leads her and her daughter to a small religious community on the moors. This sounds very creepy. It definitely has to do with the cult. And, and please let me know if you've read The Followers or anything by Rebecca Waite because I've never heard anybody mention this before. So I hope you guys enjoyed this book haul. I am so, so excited about all of these books. Please let me know which one you'd like to see me review next, and I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Bye.